All right, I'll burn through this one pretty quickly. Yes, there's classical music in the back. Actually, I don't know if you if you knew. There's like a uh, class, classical music is known is known to be very soothing for the soul, and the reason that is is because there's a natural harmony in the music that synchronizes with like growth fre growing frequencies um, of all living organisms. So like, if you play music to your crops, they will grow bigger and produce more fruit and stuff. Just a fun fact for the day. Anyways, I'm gonna burn through this one pretty quick. So today I was uh, a pretty interesting day. Um, it was a it was just a normal Wednesday, like, but it was just a busy one. Anyways, so <clears throat> 188 days. That is correct. 188 days since I smoked a cigarette. 154 days since I drank. 144 days since I smoked weed. 120 days since I vaped. One out of one day this month, so I restart the clock every month. One out of one day, I'm working out. One out of one day flossing. One out of one day meditating. One out of one day doing some core exercises. One out of one day um, cold shock exposure. Zero out of one days, no yanking it out. And one out of one day, um, reading. Reading, reading, yeah, that's good for you. It's good for the soul. Anyways, um, physical, physical competency for the day, physical health for the day, eight out of 10. Mental health for the day, nine out of 10. Uh, career productivity, six out of 10. So it was not really a good day at work, but it wasn't a bad day. So anyways, better than five. Um, friendship, social relationships, eight out of 10. It's a pretty good day, I had a lot of fun today. Um, and general happiness for the day, eight out of 10. Day seven thousand nine hundred forty-seven out of fourteen thousand six hundred. This morning, I was up at five thirty a.m. to Canes, my buddy, thumping on the door, and we we're jogging to Saks, which is like a little park right by the ocean. Um, by five fifty, we we're at Saks. By six, we we're in the water, which was about eight degrees today, seven eight degrees. It's getting cold now. It's miserable. And like when we go in the water, there's like crayfish and things like touching your toes and your leg and like you can feel them like sliding up your um, swim trunks. It's like kind of uncomfortable. Anyways, so we're in there for 15 minutes, jogged back, it's about a mile away. Um, back at about 6.30 a.m., shower from 6.45 to 7 a.m., breakfast with Somerville, Vanessa, Smith, Keynes, and Castellas uh, for a little bit, for a little bit. Castellas, one of the, yeah, Castellas was only there for a little bit. We're at the show office for 8 a.m., Chilling with, uh, oh, chilling with the inner team. So just, uh, just doing an inner team wasn't, wasn't that bad. Reading psychology of money for a while. I think I did two chapters today. Um, re uh, reviewing Instagram reels. I don't know if it's a weird habit to do. And I hope you guys do this. Um, I like, I save a bunch of reels on Instagram, but like I actually go through and review them like over and over kind of obsessively. So like it sinks in anyways. Um, chatting with MS Horan, an ops chief, about teaching MCC watchkeeper packages and discussing with her on the fleet schedule, secured by noon, lunch at the galley, 1230 to 1300, in the room, posting and creating the first Jolos, I call them Jolos, the journaling logs, I call them Jolos, I think that's a pretty, uh, fitting name, anyways, uh, till 1400, chilling and chatting with my boy Cameron, review, uh, reviewing and verifying financial spreadsheets, so I was reviewing old photos and stuff, like, um, it's, it's really nice to look back at old photos, go through the memories and like bring yourself right to the place again. I find it's very, uh, it's very satisfying. And then, uh, yeah, verifying financial spreadsheets. Like I have a spreadsheet of about of all my finances and I was like looking over it. I had a bunch of receipts like off to the side. And I was like, man, I want to throw these things out because no one likes just a ball of receipts. And I like, I picked them up and I just looked at the date, made sure I had it on there. scrunched up into a ball. Kobe. Oh, I guess I can't say that, but yeah. And then checked it out. Anyways. Um, setting up the new Echo show. I got it for, my camera got it for my birthday, so I gave him. He uh, he set it up for me, which is kind of sick. That's what's playing music in the background, actually. Alexa, stop. Um, grabbing supper by seventeen hundred, filming and posting the third Jolo till eighteen hundred, and eating, so it's eating and Joloing until eighteen hundred. It's at the pool at eighteen ten. We are in the sauna for fifteen minutes. It's terrible. If anyone, any of you guys want to do a sauna, I'd recommend it. It sucks. It's fantastic. It's fantastic for you. Um, 
meditate by 10 minutes. So um, sensory deprivation technique, like the only thing above the water is like my nose, my mouth. I just sit there in silence for like 10 minutes. It's so satisfying, so peaceful. I recommend it. And you just like, especially when you can hear the water and the machines running in the distance, it's like you just focus on that and your mind wanders. And a lot of people get impatient, give up really quickly. But anyways, and then we were in the sauna for I was in the sauna for another ten minutes, in the pool for uh, five minutes, uh, on the assault bikes, um, which is like a, it's like a pedal bike, but like you got, well, it's like a spin bike, but like you got arms as well, so it's like a full body workout. It's a really good cardio workout. It's crazy. Um, yeah, we did what was it? Ten sets. Minute on, minute off was was, was a set. So it was like. It's kind of intense. Um, and then we did a stretch mobility till eight o'clock, and that was with my boy Keynes again. And then we're then Keynes and I were playing squash until nine fifteen. Um, he, uh, I beat him on the right-handed sets, so I won three two. Um, but he is thumping me with the left hand five nothing right now. It's terrible. Um, nice cold shower uh, from twenty one thirty to twenty two hundred. So it's like. It starts cold, and I do, and I like wash my whole body and stuff, and then I switch it to warm, and I just like oh, relax. It's so nice. It's almost like it's almost like giving yourself a reward for suffering in the cold and miserable for a bit. You should think about that. Showers get a lot more interesting that way. Um, and then I was, and then I had to come back, and it was like one of those things that like you keep forgetting to do to someone, you keep on forgetting to send a picture or like follow up with somebody, and then I set like three alarms, and I kept on silencing them, so I finally got around to doing it. So it was very satisfying actually finally sending it to the guy. Um, but yeah, it was a Know Your Ship book, back to, um, back to Vinia, about 22.15, so 10.15. I was doing the objective journaling until 22.30, which is, I call this the objective journal, the thing that I'm reading to you from. Um, and then I was, uh, and then filming and posting, doing this until about 10.45. It is 10.41, so four minutes left to spare. Um, then, uh, flame meditation, so I basically, like, light a candle and I stare at it for 10 minutes. It's another form of meditation, very peaceful. Um, and then I was in bed for, and then I will be in bed for about 11.15, so about just over half an hour. Um, two roses. I'm happy I failed in the pool. And I'm grateful to have a bed to sleep in tonight. One thorn. I'm bothered by how negative I was post-failure. Um, one bud. I'm looking forward to suffering in the water. Yeah. One memory. Getting taught how to float on my back by my paw in Thailand at a resort as a child. So, no, we didn't live a bougie Irish life. Like, we weren't always out traveling and doing, like, Gucci things and bougie things. Like, nah. But uh, he was, he like, we had a nice big vacation because we had to go back and see my grandfather because he was sick. And then uh, and then he taught me how to float on my back. And I remember that. It was a very vivid memory. And, um, yeah, and then just the numbers for the day. Fitness, 4 out of 24. Uh, socializing five out of twenty-four productivity. So yeah, four hours of fitness today. It was a, it was a good day. Um, productivity four out of twenty-four because I got a lot of Joe Logan done and uh, yeah, a lot of reading, a lot of, a lot of work, a lot of small work. Anyways, uh, work four hours, four hour work day today. But this is also sort of my work. Um, sleeping six hours, so. I'm trying to push for this whole week, uh, less sleep. So far, so good. But if you stay busy, I find it's easier to stay. Well, anyways, uh, rest and recovery zero. No recovery today, and learning one. So I was reading psychology of money, learning a little bit about extra things that like just through conversation and whatnot. So I sort of like group it all in. But um, anyways, so two roses. The fact that I'm happy I failed in the pool. The reason I put that one in there is I'm terrible at like learning how to like time my breaths in and out of the water. Like I'm trying to like swim and do the front crawl and stuff and like I choke on water and then I like get like pissed off and I'm like, man, I'm gonna get stuck in my head. And today there's like a bunch of people in the pool and like I was with my buddy and like he's very patient, like he's very understanding. But like this other guy that I'm tight with is also there and he's like, and he's staring at me, watching me like suffer, right? And I'm like, Man, I am not a natural at like this swimming technique because like I'm like trying like I'm just trying to do like extra and like make it look good and make it perfect and it's like yeah, it'll never be perfect. So I'm just sitting there choking on water, right? Like I'm like trying to swim, trying to swim, kind of panicking, kind of panicking, and then I like come up and then I choke on water. I'm like, <gasps> and then I get all pissed off and then like 
it's just it's not nice it's it's terrible to watch it's terrible to try and freaking do because like i feel like such a wussy doing it anyways um yeah so it was a very humiliating experience especially surrounded by a bunch of people some of them that i didn't know some of them that i did know and they're just sitting watching me struggle and fail so i was really pissed off for a while but uh we went on the assault bikes we cried a little bit not actually cried but like we were sweating absolute nuts and then uh and then we went and played squash for a while which was pretty sweet um and like playing sports being competitive with somebody mama mia it makes you so much happier especially when you can like win sometimes like it's Obviously, that like, kind of sounds condescending, kind of arrogant, but, like, not in the fact that, like, I wasn't intending to be arrogant, but, like, when you can, like, when you do good and you perform and you can feel your body improving, oh, it feels so much nicer. Like, you're just like, man, it just makes me happy. It makes you happy. Anyways, um, I got to get to bed. It is exactly 1045. I'm going to continue on with my night. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.